What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Melissa here and today I'm gonna be designing my first hoodie. Let's get it. So if y'all are new here, in my last video, I explained that I am starting my own clothing line with my art on it that represents black culture, black women, black people, and I'll be vlogging my whole journey with y'all as I make these hoodies from scratch. So in this video, I'll be making the design for my Woman of Wakanda hoodie and kind of bringing y'all along on the process with me. All right, so first, let me just explain to you guys the idea and like concept that I have for these hoodies. The main things I want is like, I want it to be fashion forward. Like I don't want it to just be like boring, plain white t-shirts, you know what I mean? Like I want people to be excited about wearing them because they're stylish and fun. I also want them to be like really loud statement pieces because these shirts are gonna have like my artwork on it and I want them to say something with the art, you know? So I want people to wear it as a statement piece. And most importantly, I want them to have bold, bright, beautiful colors just like my paintings because at the end of the day, these hoodies are still an extension of my artistic vision. So first off, I want the Wakanda hoodie to be yellow. And let me explain, hold on a sec. All right, I'm back. So this right here is a color wheel. If you went to kindergarten, you should know what this is right here. This basically has all the colors of the rainbow on it. And if you look at the Woman of Wakanda painting, the most prominent colors in that painting are like purple and magenta. And I really want the colors on the graphic to pop on the shirt. So if you take a look at this color wheel right here and you go to where purple is, yellow is the complementary color to purple. So basically, I know for a fact that if I make the hoodie yellow, that the Woman of Wakanda will just stand out and pop at the front. It's basic color theory, guys. So yeah, now you know why I want it to be yellow. <laughs> so yellow's the vibe, and plus yellow is very vibrant and like just bold. So as I said, I want this line to be super, super colorful. So yellow hoodie for sure. And then I want to have like three main graphics on the hoodie itself. So like I mentioned in my last video, I don't just want to like stamp the painting on the front of the shirt and call it a day. I wanna add more stuff to it. So obviously I'm gonna put the woman of Wakanda at the front, but I also want the words Wakanda forever or woman of Wakanda like somewhere around the main design. I think that will look so dope and kind of add to like the dimensions of the hoodie. So I'm not sure exactly the placement or how I want it to say, but that's something I definitely know I want to play around with, like those words, Wakanda forever. <laughs> and then the third aspect is obviously my logo, and I'm gonna put the logo somewhere on the shirt, but I want it to be noticeable, but not like overpowering. I still want the woman of Wakanda to remain like the center of the piece, but I want my logo to be somewhere noticeable, so I'm thinking of putting it on each sleeve so that if someone sees it from the side, they can just see M. Faulkner sideways across either one or both sleeves. I'm, I'm leaning towards both sleeves right now. So that is my idea for this hoodie. And my plan right now is basically to make a mock-up design on Photoshop to see where I want to put the placement for all three of these pieces that are going to be on the hoodie. So I have the image of Woman of Wakanda already, and I already have an image of my logo, but I don't have the words like Wakanda forever yet, and I don't wanna just use some basic font. So I have this idea to actually write out the words with my own handwriting. So this morning I went to Michael's and I got this really cheap basic canvas, here it is right here and I'm just gonna use this to paint the words like Wakanda forever or woman of Wakanda or whatever just on here and then grab the image that I need from that. So let's get started on designing this hoodie guys. All right y'all, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just grab this Mars Black Acrylic Paint by Demco Acrylic. And I really love this paint because it's very thick and like opaque. So I'm gonna squeeze some into this little cup. And I'm just gonna take this spray bottle of water and 
and spray a little bit in there and mix it up with the paint. So this is just to make the paint a little bit more fluid so that it flows better on the canvas. And now I'm just gonna write out the words. Now that we have the design finished, I'm just gonna take it out here where there's some better lighting and take some pictures of it with my camera. What's up you guys? So it is the next day and as you guys saw yesterday, I finished up painting off these words. So now I have everything that I need to put together my design. So we're just gonna jump into my computer and I'm gonna show you guys how I designed these hoodie. All right, you guys, so I'm here in Photoshop right now and I've already got my picture of the hoodie I want. And I just took this from Google Images. I just searched yellow hoodie. And I've got my Women of Wakanda picture ready to go. I've got my logo right here, and this is the writing that I did the other day. So let's get to work. So the first thing that I want for sure is the woman of Wakanda just right in the middle. So I'm just going to drag that onto the hoodie. It's really huge, so we're just going to make that smaller, obviously. So I'm just going to drag my logo in. And for the logo, like I mentioned before, guys, I want it to be like on the sleeves of the hoodie. So I'm going to have to rotate this logo so that I could figure out the placement on the sleeves here. So I don't want it to be too big because I don't want it to like overpower the design. But I don't want it to be too small either. So I think maybe like that looks pretty good to me. And then I'll make a duplicate of that for the other sleeve. And just kind of rotate it. So that is in line. Okay, something like that. So obviously I want to make it look like it's actually on the shirt. So I'm going to edit these logos so like all the excess part isn't weirdly hanging off. And I'm just going to erase all that extra stuff here and here. There you go. Now it kind of looks like it's actually on the shirt. So first impressions, this looks pretty dope so far. To me though, like with the Woman of Wakanda just by itself at the front, it looks kind of boring. Like and this is what I didn't want. I didn't want to just slap something on and just have it be there like awkwardly. So that is the whole reason why I made these words because I want to put them on the front somewhere along the sides of the picture maybe at the top or the bottom to kind of add more dimension to it because this kind of it looks okay but it looks boring ish it could be better i know so we're gonna take these words and kind of place them but 
I kind of want to change the color of the words like black is kind of basic I kind of want to make it a little purplish because obviously there's purple in the actual painting so I'm gonna edit these words with an adjustment layer and I'm gonna bring the saturation all the way up and wow look at all the colors that are in the skies there's the purple I want and then there's even like some greenish orangish reddish that actually looks really cool to me and it adds like a ton of dimension. The amount of texture on it, the brush strokes, the colors, like it's gonna look amazing on this hoodie. Okay, so I'm thinking of putting Woman of Wakanda like at the top here and then Wakanda Forever at the bottom here. So let's grab Woman of Wakanda first. Just select that. And then bring it over to our hoodie and now let's grab Wakanda forever and bring that over okay so here they are and we obviously need to make them way smaller than this in line, you know, with the actual picture size too. Okay, let's move Wakanda Forever at the bottom. And that looks pretty, pretty interesting. It looks pretty, pretty dope. It looks pretty dope to me. Hmm. So I do like this, but I wanna try something else. I think I wanna switch the words up a little bit and make it more like symmetrical, I don't know. Like, let's see if I only had Wakanda forever, like. To be honest, I kinda like Wakanda forever better than Woman of Wakanda. I don't know, Woman of Wakanda seems more like a title of a painting, which it is, it is the title of the painting, but I don't know if I like it on the actual hoodie like because it's too obvious like obviously it's the woman of wakanda like they're right there do you really need the words woman of wakanda it seems kind of like redundant to me whereas like wakanda forever like everybody knows wakanda forever it's it's more of a saying that people recognize and it's like synonymous with the picture it's like wakanda forever you know for the woman you know so like I feel like I might scrap Woman of Wakanda, guys. And I even like how Wakanda Forever looks. I like how it looks better than how I like the Woman of Wakanda. So let's play around with this. What if I put Wakanda Forever on the top and the bottom? I already like this better, guys. I already like this better. I don't know what it is. So I love how this is looking so far. Much better than the Woman of Wakanda at the top. But I still want to play around with it a bit more, you know. I think I'm going to make the words a little bit asymmetrical, you know what I'm saying? Like, just add a little bit of something something to it without making it too crazy. So I'm just going to play around with like the direction of the words themselves. So I think I want to keep Wakanda forever at the top just like that. but. This one at the bottom, I think would look really cool upside down. You know what I'm saying? Like, kind of like it's a reflection of the one at the top. Because if they're both the same, it's kind of boring. Like, it's kind of redundant. Like, why do you need it there twice kind of thing? But if the one at the bottom is upside down, then it's like, okay, it kind of looks like a reflection of the words. It's kind of cool. So I think I want to do that. So now it's kind of like diagonal. You have Wakanda here and then on this side across from each other and then forever across from each other. And it's kind of flipped, but different. I really like this, guys. I really like this. I don't know about you guys, but 
I would wear this and like I'm trying to if I would wear I'm not gonna make anything I wouldn't wear you know what I'm saying if I was in the store and I saw this immediately I would cop it so like this looks dope and it's not boring it's still it's representative of the artwork it's very it pops a lot the colors are bright and the artwork is still the central focus of the whole hoodie I like this guys So I don't know about y'all, but I'm really excited to get this hoodie made. Like, it looks so dope, so dope. And that's all I wanted to make something dope and unique and colorful and just something that people want to wear. But at the end of the day, I care about what you guys think. So please let me know in the comments, what is your feedback on this hoodie design? Do you like it? Do you like the words? Do you like the logo placement, the image placement? Do you like the color? Do you think it's just complete whack and never would wear this? Like, let me know your honest truth. No filter, I want to hear it from you guys. You know, maybe I'll make some tweaks here and there based on you guys' feedback, so your feedback is important to me. So yeah, we got our hoodie design basically on lock. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of, you know, this whole process. It's been super exciting. So my next steps are to actually find a manufacturer who can make this hoodie for me. Like, I don't know how to sew that well, so you guys wouldn't want that. I need to find someone in town who can print this hoodie. And then once I find someone who can make this, then I've got to order a sample and see what it looks like in real life. And that's the part I'm most excited about, guys. So that's gonna be in the next videos to come, finding a way to make this dream a reality. So if you wanna be on that journey with me, if you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you wanna subscribe, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.